Guys Syndrome here. I'm gonna talk about the new Cydia tweaks made recently from fellow jailbreakers and Cydia developers. Now, while people have been waiting for an iOS 6 uh, on Tether jailbreak, the tweaks made for the past months or so only gives us small incremental improvements for our jailbroken devices. Nevertheless, developers have not stopped making new tweaks, and this will go on until a new jailbreak will be made available. So here's my top city tweaks from the past months. Active Voice is a really neat Cydia tweak that allows you to replace the Siri functionality with the Google Voice Search. This is especially useful if you have an iPhone 4 or older models that do not have Siri. You can press the hold the you can press hold the home button like you would to call out this Siri and the Google app automatically opens to activate the voice command. Of course, you will need to download the free latest uh, version of Google search app from the App Store. And Active Voice is available for free to download, of course, and the tweak comes from the Activator Cydia app, which uh, you can change the settings. Ostium is another great tweak. Um, You can customize the way the notification center opens. Instead of the normal swiping down animation, Uh, The home screen splits in half to reveal the notification center. You can also pinch the screen with two fingers to open or close it. Customization is available in the settings. Now you can also change the colors, the opacity of the notification center, and also the the wallpaper wallpaper on the, the, the NC. Ostium is available for 99 cents on Cydia. For all the photography lovers out there, uh, there's this tweak called Camera Tweak, which is a great addition of new features to your iPhone's native camera app. Um, it adds features such as uh, manual focus, exposure, time photographs, um, time lapse, and additional f- composition overlays. You can also manually change the focus by tapping on the screen. In video mode, you can also change the different uh, video resolutions and video aspect ratios. Frame rates can also be changed here as well. And if you love photography, I recommend this tweak as you can control all the different aspects of the camera. It is available for 99 cents in Cydia. Dash is another customization of the iOS app switcher. You can change between the apps using this tweak depending on the activator settings. I really like this tweak because the animation is very fluid and also it is very streamlined. It almost looks like it is part of the iOS. Activation of this tweak can be changed in the settings. Uh, Swiping up on applications from the interface will close them from the background and swiping to the right on the title bar will launch your media controls for, uh, you know, listening to music. Dash is available for $1.99 on Cydia. The iWidgets tweak allows you to put um, iWidgets on your home screen like widgets from Mac OS X. iWidgets comes with two default widgets, but it has support for third-party widgets that other developers can create as plugins for the tweak. Widgets can be moved around and placed anywhere on the home screen and added or removed from the home screen at any time. You can also access the widgets by cre- pressing hold on the home screen and a window will come up. It is available for free on Cydia. That's it for the Cydia tweaks. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below, thumbs this video up, and please subscribe to my channel if you like this video, and favorite this video and share it with everyone you know. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.